It's the latest setback for the AstraZeneca vaccine. Tonight, its creators, Oxford University, have announced a pause in its trial of the jab in children, although it said there are no safety concerns in the trial itself. It's the latest response to claims the vaccine it developed may be linked to rare blood clots in the brain. In light of the emerging evidence, the UK's regulator, the MHRA, is expected to announce an up. So what do we know about the risks? The UK's regulator, the MHRA, says it's identified 30 cases of rare blood clots out of 18.1 million doses of the jab given out up to March the 24th. 22 cases developed cerebral venous sinus thrombosis, or CVST, the very rare blood clot in the brain, and eight involved other thrombosis events with low levels of platelets. Seven people died. The Netherlands has reported five cases of these blood clots in women aged 25 to 65 after 400,000 AstraZeneca vaccinations. One woman died and one also had a brain hemorrhage. And Germany has announced 31 cases after 2.7 million doses administered. Nine of them have died. The latest controversy ramped up after a senior official at the European Medicines Agency spoke to an Italian newspaper in a personal capacity and said there appeared to be a link between the jab and these rare clots in a very small number of younger adults. That's unconfirmed and the official position of the European regulator is still that vaccinations should continue, that the benefits vastly outweigh any possible risks. The EMA is reviewing the extremely rare cases and will make its findings public in the next few days. Vaccination programmes are predicated on the benefits outweighing any potential harms. Clearly, the risks of dying of COVID increase along the age gradient. So for people in their 80s, for example, with COVID high risk, the benefits of being vaccinated far outweigh any potential harms. But in younger age groups, the individual risk of COVID death is far lower. So if a causal link is proved in younger people between those rare blood clots and the vaccine, the risk-benefit profile changes. Across the globe, countries have made their own decisions about what's emerging. Only this weekend, the Netherlands paused its AstraZeneca rollout for under 60s, saying the jab is safe, but the country must err on the side of caution. The vaccine remains fully suspended in Denmark and Norway, pending further assessments of potential side effects. Other countries include France, where the medicines regulator recommends the jab only for over 55s, Germany, where the AstraZeneca vaccine is only recommended for people over 60, in Finland, it's only over 65s, and Canada has suspended the jab for under 55s, citing substantial uncertainty about the benefits for that age group given the potential risks. Today, the World Health Organization insisted vaccinations should go on as planned. At the present moment and under the assessment that we have from the data submitted up to yesterday, we are confident that the benefits risk assessment for the vaccine is largely still positive. In part, that's because regulators aren't just weighing up individual risk, but population risk too. The benefits of younger people being vaccinated to protect older members of society. Anything that dents vaccine confidence could cause delays, particularly here in the UK. The country's rollout, currently ahead of the curve, is heavily dependent on the AstraZeneca vaccine. The UK has invested in 100 million doses, more than a fifth of its total haul. Decisions made in the next few days by regular.